Hey, uh, Tom, can I go first tonight? I don't see why not. My fact is gonna put a hurt on you, and when it does, you should curse up a blue streak, because my fact is this. Swearing helps increase pain tolerance. Yes, I believe that. What the do you know? <laughs> Uh, it's true, you can tolerate more pain if you swear to alleviate the pain as you're experiencing it. It depends on what you think a swear is. The stuff we're not allowed to say on this show. Perfect example. <laughs> Check out this clip. Anyone who's ever banged their funny bone, hammered their finger, or stepped on their kid's Lego has most likely sworn like a drunken sailor. But can swearing really help us deal with pain? To find out, we ask an expert. As people grow up, they learn to associate swearing with stressful emotional events. People have a stress response. We call it the fight or flight response, when you have a surge of adrenaline and a pain-relieving effect, which is called stress-induced analgesia. When we're in pain, it's a good strategy to swear because it can accelerate that natural form of pain relief. But does this work for absolutely everybody? If you swear a lot, you become habituated to swearing and it no longer has the same effect. Got it. Thanks, Doc. To put this to the test, we'll need a group of confirmed non-swearers. People who are proper, upstanding, holier than thou. In other words, the British. Meet kindergarten teacher Jillian, librarian Matthew, and clergyman David. I swear very infrequently. Blasphemy is what I don't like. I spend most of the day teaching children, and obviously swearing just does not come into it. Worst word that I use is probably the word pants. Pants? Are you kidding me? These tight asses are going to be perfect for our little test. Now we need to bring the pain and see if they can keep their cool. But how to hurt them without doing any whipping, kicking, biting, burning, or boiling? Our pain test is going to be deep tissue massage. A treatment so painful that it can reduce the toughest of the tough to tears. We told our group to take as much pain as they can bear until they surrender. For test one, they each chose an abstract everyday word to use instead of swearing. I've chosen the word orange as my abstract word. I've chosen bubble as my word. Cake, because it's going to remind me of beautiful pink fluffy cupcakes. Where did we get these people? Oh yeah, England. <laughs>